Hey, John Paul. I just wanted to, boy, we got a break in this heat, didn't we? After all these days of 100 plus degrees in temperature. Up here on the mountain, it's 60 degrees. Uh, I got this old snag here. It, uh, this pine snapped off at about five foot, and I wanted to come and show you this uh, tree site. Hope you can see this. It's uh, two pieces of wood, and I put it together with a bolt, and uh, it uh, it's he you know so it hinges, opens like a set of calibers. And it was painted hot orange at one time, so I wouldn't lose it in the woods, but uh, I don't know, it's probably 18 inches long, but uh, you, uh, I even uh, marked it, uh, put a ruler on there and uh, marked uh, inches on it and used a wood burner on it. And, uh, but anyway, let me get down here where I can, uh, start this uh, face in this uh, face cut in this uh, snag here and uh, I cut a little bit different than a lot of people do uh, uh, guy I'll give credit where credits do a uh, guy taught me uh, how to do this particular style of cutting is uh, Jason Rutledge uh, he was on recently featured on the history channel the horse loggers here in our area but anyway uh, I make a face cut down first and then come in and uh but anyway you put you put that face in there and you use this set of calibers to uh to check exactly where that tree is going to fall you can see where it's pointing there and uh after you put that face in you just check it like this and you say well that's not that's not where I want that tree to go. I want that tree to go right there. Well, you can just uh, let that foot go back and uh, look on that measurement and see it says about two inches to get it to go that direction. So you just go from two inches over here t to nothing right here. So you're just uh, cutting like a little piece of pie out of it. Just cut down and then, then take your... Uh, tree site and put it back in there and let's just pretend I cut it and then you put it in there and you say well that tree's right there where I want it now but you use this just to uh, fine tune your face and get it exactly where you want it to go and an inch or so is a lot uh, you see where it's go from there to uh, to there and it'll let you slide down the trees in between uh, in between other trees in a forest that's not being clear cut when you're just doing what to call single tree selection but i just want to come out and uh, shoot this video and and show you this uh hope you can see it good enough to uh see what it's like but uh when i cut a bigger tree uh, i'll show you how to cut a how i cut a bigger tree that's uh, got pressure on it where it's leaning like that so that it doesn't barber chair but uh that's a tree site right there. I just made it myself. And uh, hope this helps you out, brother. Talk to you later.